guys, Sagittarius, welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a weekly reading for Sagittarius from the 21st to the 27th of October 2019. Please don't forget to watch your Moon and Rising sign for a more complete picture. If you'd like a personal reading, please go to my website, jessmud.co.uk and book a reading. I put uh, the decks that I'm using in the description box and I put in links to Amazon and eBay. So please follow these links to view or to buy the decks. And don't forget to watch my videos on simple energy healing remedies, my deck walkthrough series, as well as my um, um, series on gemstones and crystals. you find those very, very interesting. So like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if these messages resonate with you. I'm starting off with a general energy read and I'm going to be using the Psychic Tarot for that this week. So there is a need for you to have some rest and recuperation and re rejuvenate. It's so number four. There is a bit of stability coming in for you over there, getting through a lot of difficulties. And now having some time to yourself to actually think about coming up with a new strategy, a new uh, idea about what to do. So you will be spending some time by yourself, maybe even getting back to nature. If, it's a, if you can take a little bit of a break, a little bit of a vacation, this is a good time to actually do it. And you need to build up that strength that you have. You've got the spiritual strength coming. So you need to do some really... Uh, deep thinking. Uh, spend some time by yourself over there. Uh, this is the Hermit card, and this is about uh, you know learning uh, from all all the things that have happened to you. You've got the Accelerated mo Motion card uh, following it. So it looks like after you spend this time by yourself and you know. Uh, do some soul searching really things are going to start moving for you there's something coming in from the divine you can see this shooting star coming in over there so some opportunity is coming in and things are going to start moving for you quite quickly soon so this is a time to reassess and come up with a new plan and new strategy in the past you've got the heartache and loss card so you've gone through a lot uh, there might have been legal issues that you were dealing with but you've been feeling very lonely very cut off um, you know very isolated you have been trying to focus on things that you want you can see that sacral chakra being um, activated there. So you've been working towards gain, gaining material wealth and you know, you've been trying to make a decision about how you want to move forward. You're considering a lot of options, uh, looking into a lot of things that you want to do and there's this choice about what you want to do for the future. Now going into the future, you've got the Passion Ignited card over here uh, and this is a number one uh, and this is about um, having a new idea, a new plan. So when you take some time off uh, and come up with a new strategy, you will also come up with a new plan and you'll be able uh, to go after the thing that you love. So you're going through a lot of problems, but uh, you are soon going, soon going to make a decision about what you want to do. So, you know, this is a bit of a transition period for you. You've been suffering in silence over here. You're very anxious about what you want to do. You don't really know how to get there, how to bridge that gap between the, the now and the future. And so you do need to take some time off and come up with a new plan about how to do it. Uh, you might need to, you know, um, share your... Um, concerns with other people or try to get some support from some, from people around you as well because you're very stressed out you're not sleeping well at night uh everything that's been going on is quite um traumatic for you and you are feeling very lonely very isolated uh you know very very um abandoned in a sense so those are the energies for that week so get some time some time downtime and come up with a plan think about things make a list it's always a good place to start. Decide what you want and what you don't want. So I'm going to just use the um, Da Vinci Tarot for the main read. At the bottom of the deck you've got the High Priestess and this is about going within yourself, coming up with the solutions to the problem from within uh, rather than asking other people for what their advice is and about what you should be doing. This is also, um, and you've got the fool immediately under it, so this is quite good um, because it's showing that you are making a brand new start and if you're going your own, you're on your own pathway, you are feeling very alone. Um, the High Priestess tends to be somebody that you know keeps to herself. But you have all the experience and all the knowledge that you need to make big decisions here. So you are making a fresh start. Um, you know, um, it's probably something that you haven't done before. Maybe choosing a new path. Maybe moving on from the situation as well. There's money coming in as well. So you are going independently. Uh, you're not relying on anybody for support. Whatever you're doing, don't really divulge, um, you know, uh, what you want to do to other people around you. It doesn't seem like they are going to be there to support your needs. So you need to think about yourself. 
You might even be considering doing some further training or further study uh, with this High Priestess card in order for you to move forward. Now there's a choice coming in there with the Lovers card over there and you've got the Seven of Wands. So whatever you have achieved, you, maybe you're fighting uh, you know, to keep this position that you are in at defending yourself. There's a lot of conflict around you, a lot of people maybe criticizing you, giving you a hard time. And there's a big decision that is coming up for you there with that lover's card about what you want to do. You've got the Six of Cups over there. There might be some family issues that you're dealing with. Um, and that may be the thing that is stressing you out because you've got the Nine of Swords over there. So this Nine of Swords is almost looking at that Six of Cups, who, who is this child's looking at the back. So they might looking to the past. So you might be looking... Um, you know, into your past as well, looking at what had happened to you in the child in your childhood, and how that has influenced where you are today. You know, there might be some kind of regret going on over there. Now, with the Six of Cups, there could be some offer that has come in for you. Maybe somebody from the family has even offered you support. But there is something about that um, childhood, something about your family life that is stressing you out there. With that Nine of Swords of uh, going on there, maybe the people from your your family are not giving you the support that you actually need you are feeling very despondent very upset uh, you can see this man's very uh, you know contemplating things uh, and he's standing there very much naked very alone so you are looking at things and there's a little bit of disappointment that's running through this a, de a bit of depression crying over things that didn't happen for you there and with these two cards the six of cups you know looking at that past and then you've got that um five of cups over there feeling disappointed and despondent about what had happened to you so maybe you feel like you know your childhood or the way where you've come from so far has been so influential in causing you to be in this position that you are in and it's not a happy position so you're trying to make a choice to move forward you're feeling very very stuck very very tied up feeling as though nothing is opening up for you maybe you're feeling as though you know the door is very very close so you're waiting for things to change waiting thing for things to happen you might be feeling as though your hands and feet are tied uh, you know as though you know you have no power feeling uh, very very disempowered at this particular time now you've got the empress card over there so it's time for you to take a control and start looking out for your own well-being uh, you need to put yourself first and ignore everybody else the empress is somebody that's nurturing but this is a nurturing that is now you need to turn to yourself. Um, so you need to focus that nurturing ability on yourself and look at things that are going to make you happy. Things are going to be for your benefit and ignore everybody else, really. And you will grow from that. Uh, there will be wealth coming in, provided that you start focusing on your own needs and not everybody else. You've got the Four of Cups over there. So there's something coming in on offer. It might be something that you're not too keen on. You can see this man's got his hands up. It might be people telling you things or giving you advice, and it might be time for you to say, no, thank you, I, I can do it myself. So this is a card that is bringing in stability, but stability that will come in by your um, if you start thinking about yourself and start maybe ignoring what everybody else has got to say, what everybody else's criticisms are, you've got to actually ignore that and start defending yourself and standing up for your belief system and, uh, you know, ignore the rest of the crowd over here. So there's some kind of offer that is coming in over here, but something that you're not too keen on. It might be worth considering this offer. If it is uh, you know, an offer of a job or whatever this new offer is, it might be a bridging gap offer. So it might be something that, you, you know, instead of uh, point blankly refusing the offer, it might be worth just looking into it to decide whether or not it's going to get you to the next phase. Use it as a stepping stone to get to success. You've got the Eight of Pentacles over here, so you might be planning on doing uh, um, something that involves further training, further studying in order for you to bring in that money uh, and maybe, you know, learning a new trade, uh, doing something else. So you're looking into that at this particular time as well. So maybe that's the choice about this new job and maybe there's an offer that comes in, uh, you know, that for you, um, you know, with a new job offer coming in. Uh, so before you actually refuse it you might need to look into it very very carefully do your research before you decide that you don't want it it might be not um you know giving you everything that you need uh at this particular time but it might get be something that gets you over this hurdle that you're going through at the moment and will allow you to focus on your own needs as well 
So going into the future, you've got the World card over here, the Six of Swords, and you've got the Sun. So the World card is about endings. So if you're involved in a job situation or uh, something to do with money, because the World card is ruled by Saturn, you have learned your lessons, you've completed that cycle, and it's now for you time for you to move on. It might be time for you to leave this old job and move on, or it might be time for you to leave this old situation and move on. You might need some further traveling. You can see this broken egg over here. So this is about making a brand new start, getting yourself out of the situation and going and, you know, starting afresh somewhere else. The cycle is now ended. Uh, you know, there could be money coming in with a world card, uh, but you certainly are finished and done with all of this that's going on. You are waiting for change to come in and it looks like, you know, the universe is going to bring in that change. Um, you have completed the lessons that you need to learn and you will now move forward with that world card. The Six of Swords is showing that you are going, so the cycle ending and now moving forward away from all the drama and problems that you've been going through. So whatever legal issues you might have been dealing with, whatever conflict you were dealing with, that is now finished and done with, and you will now need to move forward. And you can see this man sitting in this little boat, and he's on his own journey. So it's time for you now to, to think about yourself and start moving forward on your own plans. Whatever plans you make, think about it and move, act on that. And it's going to bring in success if you do that. There's brand new beginnings. There might be a new relationship coming in. There might be a new partnership coming in. The Sun card always talks about new work as well. So you might be doing a job overseas as well. With the Six of Swords, it's a card about overseas travel. And with the Sun card next to it, it's about going overseas as well. Maybe working in a warmer co country. Maybe doing some travel. And there's brand new beginnings. And this, uh, provided you put in the hard work, is going to pay off really well. So there's success that is coming in for you. And this is all major arcana. Uh, you know, the world is a major arcana. It's the ending of an old job or an old cycle. And the sun is also a major arcana. So it's the beginning of something brand new that's going to be very, very successful. So the light is starting to shine on you. You just need to hang in there. Uh, and, uh, you know, see things from a different perspective as well with that hanged man card. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the um, wolf pack. And this is part of the oracle read. And also some cards from the animal tarot for the oracle read. <coughs> so you've got the stranded card and that's, you may feel as though you are stranded financially or emotionally with no help from anybody else. You may also feel out of touch. So take time to think of new plans for the future and have faith and trust in yourself. So you do need to come up with a new plat uh, strand, uh, a new uh, strategy, a new plan. Uh, you are feeling very alone, very isolated, very, very unsupported, almost as though you're set adrift over there. There's a cleansing card over there. Uh, this card indicates a need for letting go of the past, going through a process of self-cleansing and self-awareness. Um, and in knowledge that brings a new outlook and a new beginning. Now you have got that hanged man card uh, sitting over there. So this is about uh, looking at things from a very, very different perspective, uh, you know, getting rid of things that are not serving you and, uh, you know, cleansing, um, clearing out those negative energies or clearing out people that are not serving you. So, you know, um, get rid of those uh, energies that are not working in your favor and move on from it. You got the family card over here. You'll find that family and friends will give you a sense of joy and healing, a reunion, a return of a friend. So there could be somebody from the family that's going to be there that gives you that support. Or you might be focusing a lot more on your family life than anybody else. But there's certainly a need for you to uh, refocus on yourself and you and the things that you want out of life. Getting rid of everything that is not help, helping you, not serving you. And you know, even though you're feeling very, very alone, it looks like you're going to be able to move away from that. So the animal tarot says you've got the high priestess here and this is appearing twice and this is showing that it is time for you to pause and reflect and uh, trust in your own spiritual gifts because nothing is hidden from you. So there might be some study or training coming in over here. It's a new moon, so something brand new beginning. There's a choice, a decision coming in for you over there, and there's a lot of transformation. The owl generally brings in wisdom, knowledge that comes in, so there might be messages coming in for you, uh, but there's also this need for you to trust in yourself and trust in whatever you want to do. So nothing you want to do is going to be wrong. Think of it as a brand new beginning, a brand new start, and start moving forward. Um, you can see the Hermit card over there. So take time for contemplation uh, to retreat or go within. So be a beacon for others on their path to spiritual uh, adjustment or alignment. 
this card is showing that knowledge will come to you, that information will come to you, and you need to focus and pursue your own uh, goals. This is also a card where you will um, be focused on maybe you're doing some further study, further training with that hermit being ruled by Virgo, but also a uh, career focus is coming in over there. So you're going to be quite um, um, single-minded about what you want to do with that high priestess of both these cards, the Hermit and the High Priestess, showing that there might be some further training and further study coming in for you over there, further learning coming in over there. And you've got the Sun card coming in as well as the final card, and this has appeared twice, and this says, your plans will work out well, bringing you happiness, prosperity, and success. Um, you will garner recognition for your accomplishments you so richly deserve. So, getting over that hurdle, getting over the wall that has been blocking you for so long and things are about to shine on you. So there is success coming in, but you need to focus on yourself. Uh, you know, stop worrying about what anybody else has got to say. They refuse other people's opinions. But if you have an opportunity that is presented to you, it might be something that you need to consider um, in order for you to move forward rather than just completely blanking it. So uh, there is a need for you to focus on yourself and change your goals change your direction, uh, you know, think about things very carefully, take some time out, come up with a new plan, and whatever you decide to do is going to be successful. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.